is we have to vote against O'Donnell and we have to start holding the Democratic Party accountable. When a letter was put out to keep Judge John P. O'Donnell from making his rounds to become on the state Supreme Court a few years back, I got up off of my behind and went out with a few other people to make sure that those letters went on porches, those letters went out to residents, those people knew the importance of it. I ended up having to do that again in the city of East Cleveland because I had to get up off of myself and make sure that the residents understood that you cannot reward evil behavior from a judge and put that particular judge who is, let's say, the example of evil and wrongdoing in a place that they don't deserve to be on. So I plan on being a part of this team to go out there and hold this same judge accountable. And with about 30 seconds left, if I have to, once this is all said and done and O'Donnell does not take the bench, maybe I should get out there and take letters around to let people know that we need to hold those same Democratic leaders who are taking us accountable and taking people accountable to let them know that they don't deserve to be in their seats either because the Democrats are definitely taking us for granted and the Republicans don't care and it's a dangerous combination. He's put many black women and young men in prison for crimes they didn't commit or jacked up the charges against them to get them. Do not put this man on the bench. If you want to get rid of O'Donnell, get rid of them all. His record is for you to see. My name is Maddie Hayes. I'm an activist. And um, one thing I, I, I want to say about this situation, we as black people, we have to stick together, whether we are Republican or Democrat. Now, they had a, a trial for these um, officers, the, uh, uh, for the, um, the supervisors that were supposed to, uh, they were supposed to prosecute these supervisors in East Cleveland. I didn't see a result. They had an all-black jury, an all-black court jury, and none of them was held accountable. I failed to see the, I just failed to see the, the, the the outcome of this, you know. We as black people, we have to be for real. And we got to start holding our people as well as other people accountable. Cause we had the ball in our court and we dropped the ball. The, the thing that we really want to emphasize to you is the last time that Judge O'Donnell ran for Supreme Court, it was 4.1 million votes cast in that. He lost by 22,000 votes. 20,000 of those votes came out of Cuyahoga County. We did those 20,000 in about a uh, little more than three weeks. We have plenty of time to double, uh, quadruple that all over the state. The things that we want to leave you with is we want everybody to call five people and tell them not to vote for Judge O'Donnell, period. Amen. Not just one time, but call five people every single week. And call them all over the state because we need to, uh, we need to uh, make a stand. We share that, to share that, that flyer have, every day on social media. And share the flyer. We have more that are coming out. We have videos, we have commercials, we've shot, a, we've done an awful lot. We spent a lot of time, energy, and money. Yeah. But if you get on that, if you go to g-pack.org, we'll have a form up there tonight and you can uh, help with the campaign. It is a coordinated effort. Thank you. Playing T, that's me, Hollywood in the hood. I'm doing it really big. I'm right here at Glen Village. I'm right here with the man responsible for all this and the safety of the community making it happen. The councilman, Kevin Conwell. How you doing, councilman? I feel good. Doing fine and, and getting better. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're looking good too, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Now, oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Now, we are here on a serious note, you know, the 137 shots. And, and you gathered the people out here tonight, you know, today, and, and, and to support the efforts to call him to step down and not even run for the election of judge or for someone, for someone else to take his place. Can you speak to that? Oh, uh, that would be very, very good. I'm glad that Mariah Crenshaw brought that up. He should step down. As a matter of fact, we need to burn a letter to the Democratic Party 
requesting that uh, Judge John O'Donnell step down. And I'd I like the pastors to uh, help me with it. And we sent a letter to him because it's an insult for them to um, support him. And they say they're for African Americans, the Democratic Party. But yet, you support a judge that let Brillo go for murdering two unarmed African Americans, uh, uh, Timothy Russell and Melissa Williams. That's not good at all. That's not good. Now, your constituents also brought up the fact that maybe all the officers should have been charged in that case. Do you agree? I definitely agree. Matter of fact, they were brought into East Cleveland, and I, I'm very, very shocked. They had a uh, all African American jury, and the uh, officers that were all Caucasians that um, were involved with that, they were shocked also. Not a single officer, when they went to East Cleveland, was charged with any crime whatsoever. Now, you being the safe, you know, the, the safety director, you know, are, did that strike an extra nerve for you that this happened like this and the outcome that happened? Well, I'm the former safety chair. When I was in the hospital battling um, cancer, I was removed from being the safety chair. Then you ended up with 137 shots, and you ended up with um, Tamir Rice. It shocked me to answer your question when they went to, um, to East Cleveland. It shocked them also because they know what they would have done to, um, to us. You know, because, you know, if you look back in history, um, when African Americans, they would, they would take, uh, in some towns, if I committed a crime, they would grab you and then take you like a picnic and pull you out of the, uh, uh, the jail and murder you and say you Kevin Conwell. You know? Well, one last thing, Councilman. We don't want to ostracize police that are on the force that's doing a great job. Can you speak to that right there, the policemen that are doing a great job in the community? When you walk the streets, when you walk your your ward, and you and you talk to people, and you run into these great cops and officers, can you speak to that? Matter of fact, I uh, ride with the police officers every other week. It's a program we call Knock and Talk. Knock and Talk. And a lot of officers are good and they're great officers. Uh, it's up to the administration also to create an early warning system. So when they have to uh, write up an officer or coach and counsel an officer, that need to be in his or her files so that if they receive too many marks, then they uh, either they go to counseling, or if the mark is, is huge and it continues, then they need to be terminated. But it needs to be an early warning system in there to monitor and control the police officers. And that need we need to find out, are the city of Cleveland, are they doing that? Well, anything you want to say to the family or the victims that uh, suffered and lost their life with the 137 shots and what your, what your efforts are today, anything you want to say to the family? I, I, I believe that... Um, when you look at um, a lot of the judges, you see a lot of judicial inequality in the courtroom, and um, they rush to uh, um, send uh, uh, white people, they give them um, a diversion. But when they see people that look like you and I, they give us felonies, and when they rush to give us felonies, then uh, when our people get out of um, jail, they have nowhere to go. They have um, felonies, and they end up... Um, doing um, whatever they, they can do, um, shoot up the neighborhood, whatever the case may be. Um, the judges and the prosecutors, um, we need campaign finance reform also because they shouldn't be allowed to take money from the police or the CPPA. And, and if, because if that happens, they'll always side with the police. So when you say, why are they always siding with the police? Well, they're always siding with the police because politics is a cash game. And since it's a cash game, the CPPA and other uh, 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 organizations give people running for a district attorney. They give people that uh, are running for, uh, to be prosecutors. They give people who are uh, shooting to be judge or even attorney general money. And that makes the CPPA strong. So how can you prosecute them when the judges, when they look at them and they try it to the bench, just like with Judge John O'Donnell? You can't prosecute them when they're giving the money. So they should make sure that these uh, 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 groups like the CPPA uh, cannot give money to the people I just narrated for.